I sold my house just under a year ago and I decided to live out of my car. I live full time out of my Jeep Renegade. One of my viewers, faithful viewer, Jagger JF01, asked me a question. Why didn't I rent my house out instead of selling it? Now, thank you for that. That made me, I, I answered the reply in the comment section, but I wanted to make a video about it because I think it's a great question. And I, and I have an answer I want to give you. There's a specific reason why I decided not to keep the house. I could have kept it financially and I could have rented it out and I would have no problem doing it. But for me, for me, it would have defeated the purpose because my purpose on downsizing and eventually ended up living in my car is to eliminate, to eliminate as much mental anxiety and as, and as much stress as possible. I want to live a simple life. And for me, part of living a simple life does not include being a landlord. It does not include getting a call that my sink is leaking or that I had a leak and it's, you know, it's going down the wall. It does not include, oh, my garage door doesn't work. It does not include, you know, my washer machine stopped working. It does not include, um, you know, there's a leak in the roof. Can you call a contractor to come take a look at it? And even when everything is going well, it does not include me worrying about getting that call. That's the key. Because for me, again, I'm only speaking for me. For me, just having that place, even if it was rented out, and then even if I hit the lottery and I got a good tenant, just mentally worrying about that. Because I know at any time it's a ticking time bomb, you can get that call. You have to have a certain personality for that. Now, uh, my uh, great viewer, Jagger JF01, they may have that type of personality. So I don't want to, I don't want to tell you how to live. That's, I don't want to do that. Everyone's different. I'm sharing why I personally decide not to. My mom uh, grew up, she had a multi-family, uh, multi-family house and rented it out. Oh, you're always getting a call. You're always, it's always going to be something, even when you have great tenants. Now, if you have that type of personality where you want to be a landlord, where you want to be engaged, then you should do what you want to do. And you should do that. But you need to know that there is there is a price to pay for that. There's a mental anxiety. There's also financial liability because something can go wrong even though you have insurances. And the main thing is you know, you're going to stress more. You're going to have a little bit more stress in your life. You have to accept that. If not, then you have to totally downsize. And I think maybe for some people, they don't want to fully get rid of the property because it's like a crutch. It's like, well, if this doesn't work out, I can go back to this maybe. And that's true. And if that's how you feel, I want you to do you. I'm just elaborating on that comment because I thought it was a great comment and I thank you for it. I thank you for that feedback. Also, like today, I got a call from a good friend of mine, you know, real good friend of mine. We always chop it up. I really trust this guy. And you know, one of his passions is real estate. He likes buying. He had he he has he lives in a home and then he also, like two years ago, he bought a small condo and he rents it out. And he went through recently just a whole renovation, stuff like that. And then he just called me and told me like he bought another property uh, down south. And, you know, he's going to rent that out most of the year, maybe use it a couple weeks of the year. And, and that's what he plans to do. Now, for him, that's why he came in. That's his passion. He enjoys getting involved in real estate and managing it and everything. I have no passion for that. Goes back to also one of my videos. I said part of every decision you make for you, we're all different, is you have to know yourself. You have to know yourself. That's how you decide. Because you can't decide based on how I know myself. You have to decide, should you rent out your house and live in a car or go into a small house? Or should you just sell your house, get out of there, and then go on with your life? You have to decide that decision is based on knowing yourself. Are you the, do you have the type of personality and temperament that can deal with tenants that, that you have the mental extra capacity in addition to if you have a full-time job, in addition to if you have other responsibilities, family, pet, whatever, or do you want to use up that extra time, that extra energy, and possibly that extra money to have that property? Because everything, everything has a price to pay. The question is, what price are you willing to pay based on your personality? One of my first videos I made when I started this channel was that decisions are trade-offs. Every decision is based on you exchanging, you giving up something to get something. 
It, there's an exchange. There's not just, you just get, you just get, you just get. So when you sell your house and when you totally downsize, whether you live in a car, or you're going to live in something mobile, whatever, you, you, what you're you trading off a fixed secure location for a huge amount of freedom and less mental anxieties. For some people, they do not want to trade off that fixed location that's called theirs. Because you don't have that when you live out of a car or van or RV or whatever. You're mobile. You're no. You're a nomad. You travel from place to place. You have no fixed one location. So you have to decide that. You know what I mean? As for some people, they may say, "No, I'm not willing to make that trade off. I want to always keep a one spot that's mine." And that's that's why I want you to be you. If that's what you wanted to do, and that, and if this is the key, if it puts you in the healthiest, best place to be the creative, unique self that you are, then do it. For me, that wouldn't put me in a healthy place because I don't want the mental stress. I don't want the anxiety. I don't want the liability. I wouldn't be creative because I'd be stressing out and I wouldn't even be making videos. I'd be over there, you know, changing out somebody's plumbing or calling somebody up, cursing that I got to get a plumber on the line. Now, it's not going to happen every day. Not going to happen every day. Now, you may go through a while where nothing happens. I just don't want that on my mind for me. Everyone is different. Like I said, I have a great friend. He likes real estate. For him, that's his passion. Like I look at YouTube channels. Some people Google buying properties. So again, it goes back to should you sell your house and live out of a car or downsize? Or should you rent out your house and downsize and live out of a, live out of a car? That's an answer. That's a question only you can answer. I wanted to expand on that question because I thought it was a great question. And Jagger, JF01, I thank you and I appreciate you. And you've been with me for a while, so I love you. I'm not sure if you're a boy or girl. In your next comment, let me know if you're a man or a woman, I should say. I'm not sure. Not that it matters, but I just I don't want to refer to you as the person or, you know, I want to give you some definition. But I wanted to expand on that question because I thought it was a good one from my perspective. I want to say that I respect everyone has a different perspective. And I don't want you to be me. I want you, my little circle say, be you. That changed my life when I really got that message. And I want to change your life. I want you to know yourself well enough to answer that question. But be honest with yourself. Don't just tell yourself what you want to hear. You know, be, you know, whatever it is for you. If you know you're just holding on to that thing, even though you know you can't handle a mental stress, anxiety, or financial liability, but you're just holding on to it because you're scared to let go, then you should let go and you shouldn't rent it out. If you know that, you have the type of temperament, passion, and desire to manage real estate, and you're willing to deal with that, and, and, and you like the idea of having that, and you're willing to you know, suffer a little bit extra for it, then, take, then keep it, because you know you. I can't, I can't make that decision for you. I can give you my perspective. I can give you that everyone I've known that has real estate and that rents it out as an investment, that they have gone through some anguish from it whether it's mental stress, financial stress, or whatever. They've gone through long periods of time where it's been great and they've had a great tenant. And then I just, actually, I was just talking to somebody too who they had, um, and this actually, I don't want to say what I, because I don't respect the people, but it's actually somebody who, they just had to go come back out of court because somebody didn't pay the last two months of the rent and they just moved out. They didn't give them 30 day notice. And uh, good luck getting that money. That guy's gone. You know, I don't, who knows where he went. And maybe he'll get it, but it's, he'll be chasing them for years. And then one of my neighbors at one time, they were renting out. And I remember going to court with them. It took them six months to kick somebody out of their place, even though they weren't paying rent. So depending on the state you live and the circumstance, there's so many different laws. Just to evict somebody is a huge process. I've personally witnessed it with several people. It's not easy. Now, you may not ever have to evict somebody, and I pray you don't. Just be mindful of all those things. Be mindful of the laws and regulations in your uh, state. You Just like you have to be mindful of the laws and regulations if you're a nomad and where you can go, where you can't go, how long you can stay, how long you can't stay. You got to be mindful of all that. There's always going to be a level of flexibility. You can't be a rigid person that you worry about every little thing. There's going to be some flexibility. But be mindful because that's, that's part of the package that you sign up for. So great question. Keep all the comments coming because that's the thing. As a community. We're sharing on these topics we're building. If anyone that's watching this channel, that's part of, of my community and our community, if you have rented out your house and if you've rented out property and you've managed it over a period of time, please leave a comment and share your experience. I'm sharing my experience. 
and why I don't want it and why renting out my house was not for me. If you have a different perspective and a different journey, or if you have the same one, whatever it is, share your journey in the comments. Let's build this community because wisdom comes from a, a numerous perspectives, not just mine, not just yours. All of us come together and then figure out what works for you because it's your life. All right. Love and respect to everybody out there. I appreciate you guys. Love. We go forward. We stay positive. We stay inspired. Play your music and don't let the negativity uh, bring you down. All right. Stay inspired.